Sensors are collecting more data on urban environments than ever before. Here's one minute in the life of New York City. From 11 o'clock to 11.01 a.m. on October 26, 2013, a high-level infrared camera is detecting pollution plumes coming from each building. Look, there's a plume. The camera is tucked away on a rooftop in downtown Brooklyn. It was installed by a new big data institute at NYU, one of several new academic initiatives dedicated to bringing big data to the public sphere. The goal is to improve quality of life, save money, and study the minute behavior of urban residents in ways that weren't possible just a few years ago. NYU researchers have also placed sensors across downtown Brooklyn. They're trying to tell the difference between things like a barking dog and a loud party. Meanwhile, in Chicago, a new city-affiliated project called the Array of Things will install sensor packs on public infrastructure across the city. Each pack is designed by students at the Art Institute of Chicago and comes equipped with 65 sensors, detecting everything from wind speed to block-by-block -block carbon dioxide levels to pedestrian counts from smartphones with Wi-Fi. The impact of all this technology could be huge. For instance, knowing block-by-block -block pollution levels could impact property values or raise concerns about asthma. But there's also a big brother side to this too. Noise polluters who have loud parties or business owners might face new unwanted fines. Or someone might track what time you go to bed at night. 